Los Angeles County Emergency Medical Services uh, deployed a few years ago uh, the desire to do a county-wide CPR training. And uh, we've been participating for a number of years with Pasadena Fire and Huntington Hospital. And it's grown every year. And we know that if we can teach people just to do chest compressions and recognize when to do that, the more people that know, the earlier that's going to happen. And so we've been doing it here at the Paseo for a, ha a handful of years. Uh, last year we trained over 375 people. Our goal this year is 400. And that uh, increases the chance of survival the more people that know how to do chest compressions. Across the United States over 400,000 cardiac arrests happen every year and less than 10% of those folks actually survive. But those that do almost always have someone who did chest compressions prior to the fire department or EMS arrival. And so the American Heart Association realized a number of years ago that one of the drawbacks to doing CPR was that people didn't know if they should start CPR, they didn't necessarily want to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, and so with hands-only CPR, we recognize if a patient is unconscious and they're not breathing or breathing very slowly, we want you to just start chest compressions. We don't necessarily need to breathe for them as a bystander. When EMS arrives, they'll take over that, um, and chest compressions and early defibrillation are the key to cardiac arrest survival. Hi, I'm Veronica. I'll be demonstrating to you how to do hands-only CPR. The first thing that you're going to do if you notice a loved one or a person that goes down is you're going to see if they wake up. If they do not wake up at all, you're going to first thing you're going to do is call 911. You dial 911, put it on speaker next to you. You get the person on a, a hard flat surface and you want to make sure that you have 911 on the phone and the help is going to be on the way and you're going to get your palm of your hand your other dominant hand straight and you're going to lock your elbows out and get right between the nipple line on their chest and you're going to without stopping start CPR. You're going to go hard and fast for two minutes or at least for two minutes but hard and fast for two inches all the way down for 100 to 120 beats per minute without stopping. So you have 911 on the phone you're talking to the rescue operator and while you're doing compressions. You will not stop until the paramedics arrive and they relieve you of what you're doing. You want to go at least two inches deep and you're not going to stop and you're going to go to the rhythm of the Stay in the Life song, which is about 100 to 120 beats per minute. And you don't stop to give breath, you don't stop until someone else is there to relieve you, a trained professional, that can stop and you want to do it at this rate. Allowing for the chest to come all the way back up for the heart to refill every single time. And when they arrive, then they relieve you and you try to minimize any interruption as much as you can. So when you come to the Paseo today, you're going to see the red tents and the CPR and the free CPR signs. We even have blue signs that firefighters are walking around saying free CPR today. Um, we're here from 10 to 2. It takes less than five minutes to learn how to save a life.